Hello everybody, thank you for joining us here. My name is Wynnum and today we're going to be looking at the universe, more specifically our solar system. So, some of our learning objectives are to be able to define what a solar system actually is and to understand the structure of our own uh, solar system. If you're ready, let's get right into it. Now let's have a look at what the definition of a solar system actually is. So we can define solar system as a collection of celestial, so that really means in space. So a collection of uh, in-space objects in, in orbit around a star. So again, if we remember, orbit really means to sort of circle. So if we have a, uh, say a star here, say our sun, an orbit would be the path that something traces around the actual uh, central object itself. So, okay, so a solar system is designed, uh, sorry, is defined as a collection of celestial objects in orbit around a star. Now let's have a look at our very own solar system right here in this uh, diagram. But first, let's have a look at the order of things in the actual universe itself. So the, what we say is the sort of biggest thing in the world is the universe. Right, so this is a sort of general term for literally everything in existence, hence the uni. Uh, uni meaning unified then we have a galaxy so our own galaxy is the milky way so this is a sort of collection of solar systems and then from a galaxy we get solar uh, we get solar systems which is what we're going to look at today and from solar systems you get uh, planets and stars Planets, stars, comets, asteroids, etc. Okay, and then you got down to a sort of people, right? You and me, and hopefully people in the entire universe as well. Because as far as we know right now, Earth is the only place that there is actually living beings present. But that might change in a few decades. So let's first have a look at our solar system right now. So uh, our, star, our planets are as follows. So we have in the at the center and uh, and the biggest one, right? By far the biggest is the sun. Then we get Mercury. Then we get Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune. Okay. So a couple things that you need to know here. Jupiter is our biggest planet. Right. And the sun is extremely large compared to while well, everything to all other planets but in the much larger scope so if we look outside our own solar system the sun is actually kind of just an average star average star uh compared to universe or rather solar system but it doesn't matter because we're really talking about anything outside of our own solar system okay so here we have uh, all of our planets in orbit around the sun now or the orbits of the planets are pretty much circular but not really they're very slightly elliptical if you go on to do a level physics you'll understand why that is but for now you need to understand that the orbits are basically circular but not really and then we also have other objects in orbit around the planets called uh, satellites so here we have our own moon. Now you might be thinking, oh, I thought a satellite had to be man-made. Not really. Anything that is in orbit around a planet, right? So the moon is in natural orbit, but satellites are obviously, you know, in man-made orbits. But anything in orbit around a planet is called a satellite. We have one uh, called our just plain moon. And then Jupiter also has one here and it's called Ceres. So that's another moon right there. Okay. Then uh, we also get things called comets. Now you might be thinking, oh, what's the difference between a comet and an asteroid? Well, a comet is actually a frozen ball of ice. Frozen ball of ice. Okay, and uh, we get asteroids here, which are just rocks, right? <laughs> Quite kind of uninteresting, but uh, an interesting fact about asteroids is that there's been talk of like say in the next hundred years we might actually end up having to mine asteroids because asteroids can also be clumps of iron they can also be clumps of diamond they can have all sorts of different minerals and elements present in them but we generally refer to them as huge rocks okay so we have an asteroid belt here between mars mars and jupiter you don't really need to know the exact uh namings or like what exact composition is you just need to know that it's present okay then uh we also have things called dwarf planets 
Now, uh, you know these as Pluto. So these are planets that became too small to be classified planets anymore, right? So they're just really big rocks, okay, orbiting the sun. Uh, another thing that I need to tell you about orbits is that comets orbits are not that circular at all. Not very circular. In fact, they're sort of elliptical. So if we uh, draw another orbit diagram over here. Here I have my sun, right? I'm going to draw it quite kind of slow, uh, small. And then the orbit of my comet is something like this. Okay, can you see that? It's not really circular at all. It's, uh, it's sort of like a squash circle, okay? It's elliptical. So this is why we can't always see comets in our uh, in the night sky, right? So a really famous one is called Halley's Comet. Like, you can only see it every 60-something years. Well, that's because it takes 60-odd years for it to get close enough to uh, for our planet to actually see it. So that would be that dot right there. Okay, then you need to understand that past our solar system, so right at the edge over here, uh, so past Neptune is a, uh, a cupia belt. Now that that's really the sort of place that defines the edge of our solar system, right? This asteroid belt here. You don't really need to know again the names and specificities of this asteroid belt. You just need to know that it's there and it's what a sort of like a, uh, gives us the boundary of our solar system. Now you also need to understand that our solar system is just one of not millions. Not hundreds of millions, literally billions in the Milky Way. Like, if I draw a very, very crude diagram of the Milky Way over here, so like that, right? Again, I told you it was crude. We're literally like a speck just here, okay? And so the rest of the Milky Way is made up of other planets orbiting other stars like our sun. So now we're going to have a look at the life cycle of the stars in the next video.